This week we're talking with Faye Stenning, a Canadian transplanted in New York City. She's going to talk to us about what it takes to stay race fit while living in a city. Hey Spartans, this is Kevin Gelati and welcome to the Spartan Athlete. How are you feeling this weekend? I feel really good. I, th I have so much energy. It's, um, there's only a few, as like a professional athlete, there's only a few opportunities where you really, really, really rest. And Tahoe's one of those, so I'm like so rested. I haven't had this amount of energy since like the off season, so oh. it feels I feel good. I feel I feel hyper, and I feel like myself, and I'm really excited. So I know this year you made a move to New York. How have you been able to pull off or balance such mission critical training in a place that's so condensed, like a city? How are you pulling it off? Um, yeah, it's been hard. So yeah, I live like right smack in the middle of Manhattan and it's uh, chaotic. I'm sure everyone knows what New York City is like or can envision it. And yeah, it's not conducive to, to training, but you can make it happen. It's been super logistically very frustrating for me. Um, and I've had to be very creative. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, riding the subway a couple hours a day to get some trails is my reality. And I mean, I'm, I'm busy and sometimes I don't have time to get to the trails every day. And I've been doing a lot of road work um, but I've been supplementing the flat road speed work with some really specific gym work to make sure that my, my, I have my climbing legs. So I've been doing a lot of sled pulls and lunges and stuff like that to sort of simulate um, the sort of fatigue that you would normally have if you were to climb a steep, steep, steep mountain. But I mean, one of the first things I did um, when I moved to New York is I ran around Central Park and there were these fast guys whipping around the park. And I literally ran up to them. I was like, hi, my name is Faye. Um, you guys seem really, really fast. I'm looking for fast runners to run with. Do you guys mind if I jump in your run with you? And they're like, they, they probably thought I was like complete cuckoo, but they're like, sure. I'm like, so I just started running with them. And I was like, show me who the fast people are. What's the fast teams here? What time do you guys meet? I need to jump in your mile repeats. Like I really have um, made myself a really strong support system in New York City. Um, obviously not associating myself with with the wrong type of people. And I yeah. think it's important to, to be around like-minded people um, because those days that you don't want to go out there, I know that I look on my phone and I have girls that run 240 marathons yeah. and they're texting me saying, Faye, we're meeting at the park at 9.30, we'll see you there. What would be one of your, um, if you're willing to give it away, maybe one of your personal taper secrets? I think the, the most important thing about a taper is everyone it is for your body you need to rest your body but it also is so important to rest your mind um, so for me a taper is about is about resting my mind so I try and do things I mean it's mental it requires a lot of mental energy to get out there every single day and running 10 to 15 miles so the fact that you only have to go out for eight miles um, yes, physically you're going to be rested, but you're also going to find mentally you're going to yeah. be rested. And I always know I'm ready to race um, when I get to a venue and I'm like ready to hurt. You, I'm like, I haven't suffered in 10 days or a week and I'm kind of craving pain. Yeah, the, it's funny. The analogy I've always used is I know things are going to feel well when I feel like a spring that's so wound tight yeah. that I'm just ready to go. Mm. But yeah. we both know we can go to races where we're just kind of like going through the motion. Yeah. And you can't go into big races like that. So I understand about no. the mental, uh, checking out mentally and just being able to have downtime. Mm -hmm. Faye, awesome advice. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for listening to the Spartan Athlete, the Friday edition of the Spartan Up podcast. Be sure to tune in next Friday where I talk to more athletes. We talk about racing, strategies, preparation, and getting you ready for a Spartan race. So get involved, subscribe, leave a comment, list on your favorite platform, and we'll see you next Friday.